I all Portia Clark born July 11, 1990 is a Zambian born country soul, pop singer and songwriter. Many weeks later, Portia was invited to sing at the Misty Jazz Lounge, an upper crust venue frequented by the well-to-do and a place Portia never imagined setting foot. I sat in a booth on the side of the room and gazed at all the nice-looking people. The large table where Westerners were seated caught my attention. When I took the stage, I sang the Ave Maria and Diamonds Ariana. Hannah. Portia's performance was once again met with resounding cheers, rounds of drinks, requests for more and fired the interest of two young Westerners. One such gentleman, in particular, became a captivated admirer and one of Portia's most enchanted fans. His name was Brendan. Brendan would not take no for an answer. He called. He came hunting for me in the compound and at work with invitations to take me out to dinner or for drinks. I thought, what do you want with me? Unbeknownst to Portia, Brendan Clark was a recently married, successful entrepreneur and impassioned philanthropist in her country. His charity organization had been lauded and highly commended for rebuilding the area hospital malnutrition ward providing millions of meals to the hungry and ambulance services to remote Zambia to reduce the overall mortality rate by more than 70 percent. Brendan had coordinated and scheduled a charity function at one of Zambia's most exclusive hotels. Diplomats were expected to attend and the First Lady of Zambia was special guest of honor. Brenton explained that he had committed to another singer for the event, but after hearing me, he asked me to sing a few songs. I agreed to do it for the charity. I didn't know how I was going to get there. I didn't know what I would wear especially in front of the First Lady of our nation but I pulled it off with God by my side and a smile on my face. Portia arrived by taxi and appeared in the same dress that she wore in the Top Stars competition 12 months before. The persistent and attentive Australian romantic suitor sought various avenues to court the young Zambian singer with the offer to carry her away. To me, all of this seemed to unreal. While Brandon was pleasant enough, I could not give up on my permanent and reliable job that I had worked so hard to retain for such an imaginary proposal. I finally gave in to Brenton's charm. We worked closely together on my music and at his charity functions. Dot, 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 we fell in love. We married. Brenton's belief in me is immeasurable. My cup runneth over. Click on the bell.